How do you invest your crystals in Heroic Anthem? Here's the guide. <laughs> What is up rockers? I'm Shinchi42. Welcome to Rise of Kingdoms. We are now in Heroic Anthem and we are working on our Crystal Research Center. We're trying to improve our technology for our fundamental technology and as well as the military technology. Now I'm going to tell you what I've been working on and how you can also try to map it and improve that way. And I will also tell you if you are a free to play player, where should you probably stop? We're going to talk about the buildings and as well as the technologies. Now, if you're looking for Rise of Kingdoms content and you're still new to our channel, consider subscribing because we create regular Rise of Kingdoms content. Now, as you can see, as we're looking into our technology in here, I have progressed a lot already. And if you wanna know how much I actually spend on these technologies currently, you can check out our previous video and watch that. See how much we have spent to get to this technology that we have currently. All right, so here's my tip. Let's first talk about free to play players. If you are a free to play player, I want you to map this what I have right now. This is what you want to go into progress and focused on. The key thing that you need to focus on as a free to play player, or even for the spenders, you need to really get the favors earned max out right away. These are very important. Your goal as a free to play a low spender is to maximize earnings of crystal crystals maximization is very important now once you have finished all these this has got to be five as you can see so these are the stuff that you got to follow right here on the top right and now as you move towards into the middle part of the fundamental technology what you need to do is now work on treaties two and cultural exchange two as a free-to-play low spender i would say this is probably where you kind of stop at seven seven really recommend for you to quickly get these two up while you are doing the best John quest remember the best John quest you can do 15 per day so just do as much as you can but really get this up as fast as you can so you can benefit with the favors and as well as the crystal earned per bastion now as you slowly work towards there you really you need to work on the fundamental as a free to play and low spender as a free-to-play and low spender, next thing that you need to focus on is to your military technology. Now, you cannot progress in here, in this part, without maxing this tourniquets. To max this tourniquets, you have to max call the arms. You cannot max call of the arms without maxing everything in here. If you're free-to-play, I would say just max out the troop types that you are mainly going to be using in the battlefield now the main goal for you is really to fight through rallying joining the rally joining the defense why do i say this the pay to wins are going to have a big edge because if you meet them in the battlefield their troop capacity is going to be increasing in an enormous amount as you can see 40 percent troop capacity increase in here this is very likely that you will see players with 40 percent troop capacity um extra of this uh, 10 percent plus the boost of 50 percent so that's insane now that's pretty much what i would recommend for the free-to-play players um is to kind of cut off in here focused more into the fundamental technology if you want go and get some action plan recovery farm barbarians get speed ups and all you need to do is really the open field presence for you is going to be a little bit difficult i'm being honest in here there's really not much benefit for you to go further in here i would say grind the barbarians get as much you know speed ups as you can and equipment materials so you can build up your account now um if you're gonna try to push all the way here i'm gonna tell you what you're not going to get so much benefit from going for it here because it's going to be expensive and crystal now this is an optional thing that i would suggest for free to play and low spender really I would say this is at least at the very minimum is to get the production management treaties and the cultural exchange and then focus on the military technology that that alone just progressing towards zero is going to take you a while all right and um focus your main uh troop type first in here now 
let's talk about big spenders now big spenders i would say if you're going to be focusing on really going out far until the end i mean that's going to be ballsy and crazy but what you can do is definitely focus on a skillful operation get that out first and then start working on everything i mean it's pretty easy pretty standard and you know the drill don't do the kahar until you have the plunder as high as you can and quickly get your treaties and cultural exchange as you are doing the bastion quest now in between in here with the spenders with the big spenders and of course the medium spenders let's talk about the medium spenders where i fall into because if i'm a big spender i would have really maxed this out already so for medium spender here's what we're gonna do we don't have the capability to max everything out it's gonna be very expensive for us and if you get basically sucked into it there's no point of return remember that the technology in here once you have you know finished this kvk it's not going to come back to us right there's there's no value after kvk there's only value in this is during kvk so for the mid spender i would say be smart focused on the fundamental technology like what i'm doing get this to seven and you don't really need to do the six out of ten in here what i've done i want to grind for barbs because i want to get the benefit of you know those speed ups and as well as the uh, materials or i and also for doing barbarian forts as well that's my own approach you don't have to do it you can skip that part um you can keep progressing in here as much as you can for mid spender and by the time that it requires you to really max out your fundamental Perhaps you can stop from there. Well, now, one of the reasons why I'm saying this is because you need to also assess. You need to assess on how much you're winning and how much you're losing. If you are winning in the big margin in your KVK and nobody wants to fight, there's no point of investing in any of the military technology anymore. That's done. No bueno. Good, no good. Just stop. Now, if, if, if the battle is still ongoing and you're really required to step up, then that's going to change up your position and that's one of the reasons why we're just going to try to do the bare minimum here's what you're going to do you're going to do the bare minimum of everything in here as you progress just catch it up until where you can get um you know requirements for the fundamental and that's what i'm going to be doing and as i work through this follow me on live stream because i will try to tell you guys what's next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on my military technology now. I am done with the fundamental technology. I may actually just boost this up one more time, but I'm pretty much done with the fundamental technology. What I'm going to be doing now is focusing on the military technology. With the military technology, I am going to try to push myself all the way out here to the call of the arms and marching order. I want to increase my rally capacity, and that's probably where I'm going to stop. And of course, I will try to do the plunder as well. So I have I have more crystals and that's the time that I'm going to push more. Now, what I my assumption in here is that I believe I will have to max all these out to max this out. So probably um, I will probably will have to unlock this maybe at three out of 10 or something or four out of 10 before it requires me to max these you know these two similar to the situation with these. At first, these are three, three, three and this was three, I think, or four. And then I was able to um, upgrade this and, you know, have some of these a little bit. But for you to move forward, so as you can see, I have this at four. For me to move that forward, I have to get the tourniquet to five. So I assume maybe at the four level is where it's going to require me. By that time, I could decide whether or not I would push more, depending on the situation of the war. If we are extremely winning, then I'm not going to be pushing anymore. I'm going to save my speed ups for the next heroic anthem now like i said it's a matter of understanding and controlling yourself on pushing too much tech you don't want to just drain everything and spend too much on crystals right so be wise be careful because spending in here can be so quick and you're not going to realize you've spent thousands and thousands of dollars already so just kind of watch what you're spending be smart um there's always somebody who's going to spend more than you and you can rely on them you don't always have to be the one that players always rely on 
So just be careful what you're doing. But this is my suggestion to summarize this for free to play players. Focus on your fundamental technologies first. Get that up to par. Um, I've seen a lot of the, uh, you know, F2P already sending me a message on how they're progressing in here. I've been going through some of them already. Um, another thing is what I would really recommend for the buildings. Get your crystal mine up to 20 at the minimum i would say 20 is the minimum that you should target this is going to produce you a lot of crystals you want to get 100k load now you want to produce 4300 now in one full day you can produce 100k crystals that's not even including your best john quest that is going to boost you up and if you are a low spender and you bought the uh, supply bundle as well that will also help you to produce so for the low spenders, I would say for the crystal mine, there's a lot of information today. So kind of kind of try to watch everything, keep track. For the low spenders, I would say try to get at least a minimum of 20. For the free to play, I would say it's a little bit harder for you. You may be able to get away with level 15 at the minimum and start doing um, technology that way in that period of time and still keep working on upgrading your crystal mine. Now, very good tip that I'm going to explain to you here. This is your figure it out once you're working on it is that once you are working with your crystal mine, once you upgrade the crystal mine, it's not going to allow you to get into this feature to where you can produce. All right. So what you need to do is produce before you upgrade. So every time you upgrade and you know you're going to take a very long time to finish it, click this and scroll through that and click work more and then do your upgrade. If you don't do that and you upgrade, and you finish the production, as you can see in here, um, it's going to finish within 23 hours. And you, that 23 hours went by early without your um, building completed, you're not going to be producing and you're going to be missing out on a lot of crystals. So keep that in mind. So another thing that we need to mention here is that I am not even putting anything on the larger camp. So keep that in mind. We don't need that. Um, if it does require later on, we can add that. But for now, we're just skipping that. I find no restriction yet for that um, as I'm progressing in here. I don't know if it will require me to upgrade this eventually, but try to avoid this for now um, and just progress in here. Now, here's the thing. You can stop from here if you are a medium spender um, or you're just looking to fight more into the open field and not really the rally leaders. You can probably stop from here. Now, for me, I am most likely going to be defending, so I can probably stop in here as well. So one thing that you need to understand in here, there is the role. So this is a very good thing to where you can kind of stop on investing, figure out what role you want. I've been thinking earlier as we're making this video and I was I'm talking to our friends in, in, you know, in the game, I've been thinking about it and like, I'm probably going to be defending. And with that being said, um, perhaps I can chill being a rally leader, I mean, I've got amazing, you know, archers to rally, but I could just use that in the open field and I can also dominate in that way. So my thought process now is just most likely what I'm going to be doing is going to improve my call to arms. And um, as I've mentioned earlier, I wanted to get to the marching orders, but probably I probably won't even go and get the marching orders now. If my gonna my focus is gonna be for defending, I'm just gonna focus on my role. And I'm not gonna try hard and become a rally leader for this KVK. Unless I'm really required, I can still rally just without the rally capacity increase, which is still acceptable in here. Um now if you dominate into the open field you most likely you know your two million rally is probably enough by then plus if you do have the buff from the holy sites now one thing that i may if i still have ability to um you know move forward and have extra crystal without spending any more money I, i will probably focus on improving the morale in here now now the cost benefit here what is it really why are we pushing for our technology it's because we can save everybody's troops. Now, here's the thing. For those free-to-play low spenders or mid spenders who are going to be joining to the players who are going to be investing in the military technology for this event or for this KVK, guys, 
please be appreciative because they're spending a lot of money <laughs> let's be honest to improve the technology so you don't get slaughtered so that you can join them into the rally and there's not going to be a whole lot of casualty winners or losers there's going to be whales that are going to be doing this please be appreciative of what they're doing because i mean whether or not this is a video game or not real money is involved in here players are going to be spending good amount of money into the game to improve their technology so that the majority won't suffer too much so keep that in mind and appreciate the whales in your kingdom if you're free to play you can't really push all the way out understand that there's limits for you if you're mid spender you can push a little bit further than free to play but figure out your role as well if you're just going to be open field fighting focused on open field fighting you don't need to push all the way up to the end now if you're a whale and you're going to be the one rallying you definitely need the marching orders and if you're a defender you don't need the marching orders just focus on the call to the arms you can defend a structure and fight in the open field it really depends on your goal so another thing that you might have you know a purpose to continue researching is to get the season coins so if you go to the shop the season coin is earned through completing research in the crystal research center now if you are a free-to-play low spender i would say probably your target should be getting the sculptures because you probably won't have a lot of sculptures and as well as materials chest now you can have your own you know agenda as well but that's just my recommendation you can target getting a city team because you know maybe you never have one you can start banking your season coins i don't think you're going to be able to get it in just one kvk all right let me talk about this thing real quick with the accessories in here so if i was going to be going for the accessory i'm going to go look for the concealed dagger ring of doom or the horn of fury i'm really leaning into the concealed dagger this is going to be really great especially for a defender um can be really good for using in the um, canyons and defense mostly because when you're focusing on defense you're going to be either using theodora and you can put this on theodora now the thing is for rallier for offense you're not gonna really have a benefit with this one if you see theodora because she's just gonna cancel this uh debuff another thing that's great is ring of doom um the proc is you know two seconds for 50 percent increased damage but it can only trigger one in five seconds so there's that you know not great proc ability but when it does proc it's massive damage but the chance is 10 percent Another thing I'm also looking into is Horn of Fury. Horn attack has 30% chance to gain extra 50 rage. This is massive. I'm still debating whether or not I will get the Ring of Doom or Horn of Fury. I am already decided that I'm going to be getting the Concealed Dagger because I think this is going to be the best for my situation. Um, so like I said, if you're a defender, this is going to be really good. Plus, if you want to succeed in Canyon, this is insane. Because in Canyons, as you know, we see a lot of infantry commanders in the canyons because infantry units have a lot of high health that's why they're able to sustain in the canyons that's why archers cannot really sustain because these are also t3 units the archers don't really have the massive punch there but if i have this item i could you know reduce the health of these infantry that i'm going against with and i could have the benefit of that um like but also the horn of fury i'm probably you know i'm about 80 percent horn of the fury and 20% Ring of Doom. But out of all these accessories, these are the three that I would really highly recommend. Now, I already have the Skolas coin, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to be giving you guys a pro tip right now. And this is going to be really, really good for majority of you guys. So some of you guys would probably wanting to like push all your best Chon up to the highest level. Here's my suggestion to you. And here's what I'm doing. Is that you need to push your best Chon up to the level of only six in the minimum unlock as much bastion skill or the support skill go to the bastion in here in the heroic anthem and click that and as you can see what you can accept and what you can't what i would really suggest to you is unlock every bastion skills that you can have why because this is going to give you the benefit of flexibility of adding the support skill later on depending on what situations you're going to be in now if you do that and you get into level six for all of these um, Bastion, you're gonna be having 7.5%. Let's say do four Bastion at 7.5%. You will have then 30% 
extra mine working speed compared to if you're going to be going up to the level 10 yes you may get 15 percent but the amount of xp does go up so it's going to take you a lot more time to really get the highest mining speed plus you're losing out on the support skill as well so here's my advice back again uh, this is going to be really really good for free to play don't try to chase the highest level right away chase to unlock first once you have unlocked then you can chase to increase with that being said hopefully you'll find this to be very helpful here we are in the heroic anthem first time in heroic anthem and we're giving you all these guides as well now another thing that i want to share you some information is that i've already started pushing further uh, as we're going through our editing in here i push further into the skillful operation if i want to move forward past the call of the arms uh, i will need to have five of this um skillful operation as you can see i'm trying to get it to level five already as i'm going to be pushing in here there will be a requirement in here in the call of the arms for when we will be needing to upgrade the skillful operation so i'm just preparing myself because i know i'm going to be pushing all the way through here because of course i want to chase the season coin as well all right rockers thanks for watching i will see you guys again next time thank you if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to do so see you later